Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. So for my first video, I wanted to do like a full face tutorial. I did the full eyebrows, foundation routine, and then I did a light eyeshadow. It's gonna go for something natural, but I couldn't help it. I had to throw some dramatic lashes on there. Lashes do give the makeup look just that final touch, that poof. If you guys are interested in how I achieve this look, please keep watching. So guys, first things first, I'm going to grab my dip brow in the color chocolate by Anastasia and just an angled brush by Sonia Kashuk. And generally what I like to do is I like to outline the under part of my eyebrow first. Then I do the top part. Sorry about the focus. I didn't realize I was losing the focus. And there it is. Anyways, you just missed me coloring in. I didn't grab any more product. I just used what was left on the brush. Now, remember not to go all the way to the center of the brows. You want to leave that for last. We're trying to get that gradual effect of the eyebrow being lighter to darker. So... Here I am not grabbing any more product and I'm just trying to extend that line very lightly. While I'm doing that, I'm coloring in the inside. Now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. So now that we have both brows done, we are going to clean it up with a creamy concealer. I use the NYX Jar Concealer in the color beige. So just like I started with the brows, I'm going to do the same thing with the concealer. I'm going to start at the center and clean the bottom part up first with an angled brush as well. This is one that I actually bought at Sally's Beauty Supply. We're going to clean the bottom and then with the same product, we're going to clean the top of it as well. Now that I have blended the concealer in, I'm just going to lightly brush the hairs just to blend it a little more with the spoolie of my brush. And here's a little trick that I learned a few years ago. Well, actually, not really a few years ago, but maybe a few months ago because, girl, I had them box eyebrows. So what you do is you put a little line of concealer at the end of your brow, and then you brush it with a spoolie. This is going to kind of erase that center to give it that gradual effect I said earlier. So now this is just an extra little thing I like to do because I like me some fierce-ass eyebrows. So I grabbed the dip brow in the color ebony, which is a little darker than the chocolate. And using another angled brush, this one by BH Cosmetics, I just like to go over. I kind of see it as setting the pomade with like a powder. This is really good if you're going to be somewhere where your makeup could possibly sweat off. My next step is applying my moisturizer which I got at Ulta. It's from A Cosmetics, Confidence in a Cream. And then I'm gonna take the, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but the Maracuja oil from Tarte, and I'm just going to apply this to the dry areas, which is generally my chin, and sometimes on the high parts of my cheekbones, just to give me that extra glow. Now going in with Baby Skin by Maybelline, I'm gonna use this as a primer. For my two foundations that I'm mixing, I'm color or shade 108 in the L'Oreal Infallible. I'm using the Pro Glow and the matte one. I don't know why the hell I took it off with my beauty blender from the back of my hand. I generally don't do that. Obviously, I did not like the coverage, so I had to go ahead and dab some on with my finger and then blend it in with the beauty blender which, as a matter of fact, is my favorite beauty blender, but I don't even know what kind it is or where it's from because Ipsy sent it to me and I forgot all about it. Now, speeding things up with my LA Colors Concealer, I am going to go ahead and highlight my face. Again, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime just so I can wet the face and it can be a little easier to blend this out. 
I don't know the exact shade of the concealer, but I will definitely post it below. Now to set it, I'm going to use the Clinique setting powder, and with my fingers I'm just making sure that the bottom little wrinkly area of my eyes is blended because remember whatever you set is how it's going to stay the rest of the day. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelids and notice I did like a little little on my chin just because that's where I mentioned I get a little oily. Now there's a difference between baking and setting. I'm not baking. I am just setting my foundation. I'll have to go into baking in another video. Now my holy grail uh, bronzer, forgot what the hell it was, is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. What I like to do is I like to put a little bit right next to my nose, um, as I mentioned, like so. It just kind of helps lift the cheeks up a little bit, but you have to be very careful that you don't make it too harsh. And there I went and I blended it with my Morphe brush. By the way, if you hear this like fanny noise, it's my computer fan. Now I'm going to add a little bit of an orange blush. Lately I've fallen in love with kind of like orangey tones more than pink tones. And here it is, State Farm was calling me, blah blah blah. So coming back from a rude interruption by State Farm, which I was still talking to, I am going to highlight the cheekbones with a Morphe brush and I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Splits, I think is it's called. Now just because I put a whole bunch of powder on my face, I'm brushing my eyebrows to dust that powder off with a NYX brow gel in the color Espresso. If I don't do this, my eyebrows are usually faded out, which is okay if you don't want them to look as harsh. Now for the fun stuff, the eyeshadow. Going in with Summer Yum from the Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. I am using that color as my transition color. I'm just applying this in the crease of my eyelid and I'm doing the same thing for both eyes. Now going in with a clean brush by BH Cosmetics I believe. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out just to avoid any harsh lines. Blend, blend, blend. Excuse me, I was into my Pandora music. And now going in with Charmed, I'm sure, which is a kind of like the chocolatiest brown that this palette has. I'm going to concentrate that in my outer corner. I didn't want to go for something too dramatic. So I'm just blending that in in the outer corner of both eyes. And we're blending and blending until our fingers, what is it called? Cramp up. I was going to say twerk up. Not twerk, cramp up or fall off. And going back with the brush that I use for my transition, I'm just going to be switching between those two brushes just to make sure that there's a flawless finish. So again, going in with that chocolatey brown, I want to deepen my crease so I'm just gonna keep layering that brown on there remember you want to work with a little bit and keep gradually adding you don't want to start with a lot it's easier to build up than to erase especially with eyeshadow and notice that I keep switching back and forth between this brush and the first one that I originally used for my transition just this is just to make sure that everything is well blended and since there's still a little bit of the transition color on the first brush it will help blend everything out and here I am dropping my peach palette thank god none of it cracked now going in with my NYC liquid eyeliner I'm just going to outline my eye I'll have to do a wing tutorial soon just so that we don't go in depth with this one. But all I do is I create the wing and I fill the rest in. 
Luckily, I didn't mess up too bad on my first try this time. Because seriously, it would be my luck that I would jack this whole thing up and I'd have to start my eye look from scratch. So once I have finished my winged eyeliner, I'm going to grab the same angled brush and concealer that I used to clean up my eyebrows. And I'm going to clean up the wing. And that's the good thing about this eyeliner is it's not waterproof. So it's very easy to clean up. However, it probably won't last as long in the clip. Now, moving on to lashes. It is critical that we curl the lashes and coat them with a mascara. I'm using the Voluminous, I think is how you say it, by L'Oreal. And then, this is optional, but I personally think it makes the eye look better. I'm going in with the same colors I used on my eyelid underneath my waterline. I do this because I don't like to really put eyeliner at the bottom on my waterline. It only makes my eyes look smaller and I already have pretty small eyes. Plus I already put the eyeliner on the top so that's going to make my eyes look extra small. And now here I am highlighting the tear duct of my eyes using peaches and cream. Yeah, peaches and cream from the same peach palette. Now coating the bottom lashes with mascara. I absolutely love this part. I actually wish I had longer lashes just so it could look a little better. And now applying the lashes. Since I applied the glue, I've been letting these lashes dry. Remember to always let your lashes dry and do not apply the glue wet. Well, don't apply the lashes straight onto your eyes as soon as you apply the glue while it's wet. That is what's going to make it slide around your eye and not give you that like precise application, if that makes sense. It just makes the glue tacky if you wait a little longer, whether you just let it sit on the counter or you blow a little on it. Again, I'll have to make another video going in depth as to how to properly apply the lashes. I always put the center first, then the outer corner, and then the inner corner. And I'm just pinching them to make sure that it's staying onto my eyelid. Now to tight line my eye, I'm using this black gel eyeliner from Ulta. I absolutely love this eyeliner. I used to think I loved the e.l.f. one. But then I noticed that this one was way better. And this is now my go-to gel eyeliner. So I do this only to blend that lash to my real lashes. Just so you can't tell really where that separation is. It really makes a difference. Trust me because I've forgotten to do this part. And here I am again picking up my eyelashes making sure that they stick. Because nothing is more annoying than falling lashes when you're out and about and you have no emergency glue. Now, in my next clip, I will be applying the lipstick slash lip gloss slash lipstick liner. Actually, I didn't apply, apply lipstick. I just went for a lip liner by NYX. I was going to go for a liquid lipstick, but then I was like, no, I'm feeling a little glossy today. This is just like a peach tone, uh, sorry, not peach, a pink tone. And I'm going to go over it with a Sonia Kashuk gloss. Here I am cleaning up the edges and just notice I am going to go back with a little bit of highlight and just put that on my cupid's bow just to give it a little pop. 
Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, whatever it is. Comment down below what you think of this if you want to see any other types of videos. Um, and definitely if you like the voiceover or if you'd rather have me sit down and do the makeup and talk as I'm doing it. Bye!